Hey everyone and welcome back to Zillia 2. I've gotten Luger to level 135. Everyone else I believe is 136. Yep, it we're only using these four so it doesn't really matter. We're at the point in the game where I'm just using these four characters because they're the ones I'm most used to in combat. But anyways, we are going to go and take down the last four elite beasts. I actually tested to make sure I was at a good enough level. I went and fought the, uh, what's it called? The Phantom Stump? The Ghastly Stump. I went and fought him. I was able to get him to, like, half health. I think Gaius, Muse, and Elise all went down, like, once and got up, like, relatively quickly. I hadn't used any life bottles or anything. So since I was able to get him to half health, I assume I can beat him. Goddess Touch is a lower level in points. I assume I can beat it. Sienna Bronk is only a little higher. That's like 9,000 more points. And I don't remember having a lot of trouble with Sienna Bronk. I don't really remember the fight, period. But uh, I assume we can beat Sienna Bronk. Hopefully we can. And Snow Cougar is lower than all of them, but Snow Cougar is a real pain. But I still assume we can beat him. We're going to be fighting Goddess Touch first. But before that, we need to go to Laronde and get our dishes so we can get the 80% EXP so that the boosts from... I'm uh, hoping the boosts from Goddess Touch and Ghastly Stump, because we're going to fight them first, will allow me to defeat Snow Cougar relatively easily, because, you know, his size makes him really difficult to fight. I always had trouble with him in the tournaments before I got to the level to where the tournament, the, like, Coliseum level uh, Snow Cougar is really easy for me to beat. And, uh... But I assume this EX one is going to put me back in a place where Snow Cougar is a real problem simply because of his size and his movement pattern. I know him pretty well, though. I'm confident I can beat him. But just in case he causes me a lot of trouble, that's why we're going to fight Goddess Touch and, Phant and Ghastly Stump. I keep wanting to say Phantom Stump. We're going to fight Ghastly Stump and uh, Goddess Touch first because I think I'll have an easier time beating them. And then hopefully with the Lerone dishes, they'll give me more EXP. I'll get another couple of levels, and it'll be easier for me to defeat Snow Cougar. Then I'll get a few levels from Snow Cougar, and that'll make it easier to defeat Sienna Bronk. And then we'll get some levels from Sienna Bronk. I'll make sure to get the EXP boost on Sienna Bronk as well. So that way we'll get even more levels from him, which will hopefully assist us in the uh, EX dungeon. Because all we have left is the EX dungeon. That's all that remains. Let's well, we also have to, uh, after we finish the EX dungeon, we have to do those exclamation mark missions, which I can't do until I get the unicorn horn from the EX dungeons. So... We also have that, but I imagine that'll take like 15, 30 minutes tops to do that exclamation mission and any others after it. Then we'll have to, uh, we gotta go and beat the game, quote unquote beat the game, one more time so we can get the true secret ending or whatever it is. I'm really excited to see it. I actually have not seen it yet. I was really tempted to just look it up on the YouTubes, but I restrained myself. I want to, uh, see it for the first time while playing. Also, if I make more stupid mistakes than usual, I know I tend to make stupid mistakes, but if I make a few more stupid mistakes than I usually do, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, and I'm going off of like four, maybe five hours of sleep, so I'm pretty tired. So if I make stupid mistakes, we're just going to blame it on me not only being a little tired, but also having just woken up. Four to five hours of sleep is actually my kind of my average for how much sleep I get, but... I don't really suffer from sleep deprivation unless I get like two to three hours. I can usually go off of five, four hours. Hey, Goddess Touch, time to beat you down again. Unless I get like four hours of sleep eight times in a row. Then I start to have some problems. Be gone. Blade of Heaven. Also, something I noticed about Ghastly Stump that I don't think I realized when we uh, fought him on screen last time. When I was uh, fighting him to test to see if I was able to uh, beat him, I noticed that he no longer has a fire weakness, which was the only, he has no weaknesses. He used to have a fire weakness at the least, and that was how I always uh, beat him really easily. When we originally fought him, I'm pretty sure I used that to beat him rather easily, and when, we, uh, when I fight him in the tournament, that's what I always do. I just use Incineration Wave, and in the tournament, the Phantom Stump, Ghastly Stump, it's Ghastly Stump. When I fight him in the tournament, the uh, Ghastly Stump usually, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? He usually dies to one incineration wave. Time for the Flight of Kings, here we go. Now let's transition into the uh, Critical Blade. Bam. Go into one of these. Go into one of these. And then I need to go into Demonic Chaos. And now, the Linked Mystic Art. The Power of Light. Light Squall. Here we go. It's time. Shining torrent. 
Man, I love that Mystic Art. That's so awesome. All right, let's, uh, wait a minute. First, I'm going to try and get some power hits going with Blade of Heaven, and then we're going to, uh, sw oh, crap, down to one. It went from six to one all of a sudden. I was about to go into Luger and use Chromatis. Oh, crap, I am Luger right now. I don't want to be Luger right now. Here you go, Blade of Heaven. Give me some power hits. It, like, goes up to a good amount, and then it suddenly goes down. Right there is good. Here we go, Luger. Take advantage of all these power hits. Let's get some endless waltzes going here. Hurts, don't it? Let's get another going. Here we go. Just keep it going. I'm going to keep doing this as much as I can because this is just a crap ton of damage. We're already up to 130,000. Ah, crap. It ended. Oh, crap. Okay, good. He did the rushing attack, so he didn't end my Chromatis. Let me just get my Mystic Guard off then. We got two endless waltzes, two full endless waltzes with power hits, and then we got like half of an endless waltz before he charged through us. And we got Eternal Waltz. That's some good damage. He's already down to half. I didn't even look at his health. He's only a little over a million. This is I thought he'd be higher than that since he's like the third highest or something. This is going pretty well, though. This is where it's going to get rough, though, because now he's starting to use his uh, Dark Arts. That's the... Goddess Touch really is not a problem until he starts using his Dark Arts. Because he spams, like, the Reaper... The Dark Visitor, I think is what it's called. It's like that Reaper with the Scythe that he uses. He uses Negative Gate. And I can't remember if there are any others he uses. I think he also uses that uh, Dread Wings or whatever it is. The, like six dark sword attack that Elise uses sometimes. I really like it when Muse drops the sun like that, because it's awesome and it does good damage, but it gets a little annoying when it blocks my sight. And I'm getting, I'm doing really well with landing these critical blades. I think that's causing a lot of the damage we've gotten. I've hit like three or four of them. Yeah, here, now he's going to start using his dark arts some more, and now he's going to start teleporting more. Yeah, there's negative gate. Yeah, this is where he actually becomes difficult. He's really easy until this point. Never saw this coming. Yeah, I never saw it coming either. But holy crap, this is bad. Hey, wait a minute. Someone needs to be gotten up via life bottle. I didn't realize I wasn't maxed out on my life bottles. Okay, crap. Crap, this is bad. Need to land this blade of heaven. There you go. I think he's like, sometimes I can't believe... Ah, why am I linked with you? I've noticed it before, but I've never really mentioned it. So in case you haven't noticed, you know that sometimes the enemies, like, it closes up on them and they do some motion or something, like they're going into power mode, and then they start spamming really cool attacks, usually. Like how Negative Gate did it, and he started spamming his Dark Arts and all. Uh, I think that that happens, and then it only lasts a little while, and then it stops, is how it works. So I think his ended, and that's why we're doing really good again. Because he stopped spamming Dark Arts and all, because that little moment where he goes crazy with power ended. So it's really good to notice when that happens, because when they do that, if they start to deal you a lot of damage and all, you just need to last, basically. If you can survive through it, they'll go back to being how they were before. It'll be a little easier, and you'll be able to beat them. Also, this is looking really good. We're going to go into the uh, Ghastly Stump fight with uh, almost over limit and uh, two and a half Chromatis. Well, that was unexpected. No, that was totally expected. It was basically exactly what I thought would happen. And we got like one to two levels on everyone there. That's decent. Not as many levels as I would like. Yeah, everyone got two levels. And actually, it looks more like two and a half. Yeah, that's nice. Two and a half levels is good. I'll, I'll take two and a half levels on an EX Beast. Let's go to... Where's the next one? All right, Sapstrath. We're going to go fight the uh, Ghastly Stump. I think the northeast entrance is the closest. I'm trying to remember. That didn't even take ten minutes. I was, I was thinking that each EX Beast was going to be like its own video, now that we're at like the high tier EX Beasts. But now that I think about it, one of, like, Ghastly Stump or Sienna Bronk might take a little more than one part. So defeating the, uh, Goddess Touch a little earlier is probably really good. Because I don't want to, I do have other things I need to record, record, blah, I can't talk too early. I do have other things I need to record this morning. Emphasis on this morning. I have stuff I'm doing in the afternoon. I'm actually streaming later today. For like two to three hours, and I have school stuff I have to do before Monday. It's Saturday, in case I didn't already mention that, and just other stuff in general. I need to render. I need to render an upload. I need to uh, edit vids. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. Let's fight Ghastly Stump. You know, his watch. I'm gonna look at him. Yeah, look, he has no weaknesses now. And it's good that he doesn't resist fire though, so we can still use Dragon's Bond Incineration Wave pretty well because he doesn't resist fire or wind. I'm pretty sure I can pick him up. Yep, there it is. I can pick him up. Interesting. Die, Ghastly Stump. Die. The bad thing about this is he resists Earth, and I already tested this earlier when I fought him uh, 
to test if I could actually beat him. Critical Blade does not work. It does like zero damage, I think. What are my art links with you, Luger? I've totally forgotten. Wrong button. Whoops, no, wait. Uh, Demon Fang, I just did that. Chakra Circle does Phalanx. I need to do that. Uh, Demonic Chaos. Rising Gale, Incineration Wave. Okay, so Incineration Wave. And then uh, Ellen down. That didn't work. All right, that did some damage. And now I need to hold R2. There we go. Okay, good. Never scratch me. This will get some good damage. Not as much as I hoped. I was hoping it would get to like 70. Whatever. Uh, he's already down about 130,000, it seems. That's not too bad. Incineration wave. Incineration wave. See, look, he has the same thing where he like he'll uh, do that little chuckle thing that we that we noticed before, and then just start spamming more laser beams than normal. Ow! Thank you, Muse. I enjoy it when you protect me because it means I don't get hurt as much. Man, he deals so much damage. That's the biggest problem. Is he deals so much damage? It's ridiculous. Also, he has no weaknesses, so I don't think I can power hit him, which really sucks because that means I can't like abuse endless waltz. The endless waltz thing with the Luger. Here we go. Let me just see if I can get one off. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, good. He did stun. That was really risky. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone straight for the Mystic Art. But it worked out, so it's all good. Destroy him! Bam. I'm only doing like 56 with each of my Mystic Arts. That's not very good. He's taking a lot of damage, though. He's, uh, yeah, he's been down about 500,000 already. That's really good. But yeah, I'm not worried about the damage I'm dealing or anything. I'm worried about the damage he's dealing. Because look, we're like getting hits that do 500,000. Like, not 500. 5,000, I mean. Yeah, I'm awake. Die. No, I missed. I can still do this, though. Go, Twin Lance! We are doing very good damage, I feel. It's just he has so much health. He's super bulky, so it's taking a little while. It's just a matter of the damage he deals. As long as I can keep everyone alive with a somewhat decent health, I'm pretty sure I have this in the bag. I'm actually doing better than the last time when I fought him off screen, because I had him at about this much health. I waited until... I told myself I'm going to fight him until his little arrow, his yellow arrow above his head gets to about half, which is here. So, ah, oh, great, he's doing that chuckle thing. Now he's going to start spamming attacks. Yeah, look, that mega laser, that kills everyone. Like, no matter what. I did get to the point to where he mega lasered me once. It was when he did that mega laser there was about the time I stopped and said, uh, I'm pretty sure I can beat him. So hopefully I was right and we could still manage to do well. Here's the mega laser. I guarded it and lived. That's good to know. So I can guard that and live. Pick him up. Now it's time for the twin lance. Get some damage off. I should probably use Flight of Kings, actually. It probably does more. Twin Lance and a Link Pillar only do well if you get power hits off. Ow. Ah, oh, great. Confusion. I forgot he sometimes inflicts confusion. That's like the worst thing about him, most definitely. Ow. Oh my goodness, everyone went down. Me and Muse got right back up, though, so it's fine. I just need to leave Elise alone. Leave Elise alone. Not Elise. Anyone but Elise. Literally anyone but Elise. Stop, 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 stop. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Yeah, good. Turn on all three of us. You can shoot all three of us all you want. Ah, crap. I'm down. Elise, I think the other two are confused, so you need to life bottle me right now, just in case. I'm trying to give Elise some more health here. Ow, I'm down again, but I think, yeah, Conqueror's Blade or something just took effect. I didn't read it at the top. You can see it at the top if you want to. Someone get Muse up, please. Keep linked with Luger so I can keep moving towards Overlimit. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to Overlimit and kill him with it. That's what I'm really hoping for here. Please die. Please just die. Crap. Get up. Get up. Ah, great. Me and Muse are confused. That's really bad. Ah, good. We're not confused anymore. That's really good. No, don't shoot Elise like that. Ah, good. Angel's Cry. She must have used Recall earlier, because I'm pretty sure that's the second time she's forced herself up. Please just die. Oh, great. The Mega Laser. Muse, get Elise up right now. I forgot to buy items. I need to... I. Oh my goodness, we revived her and the laser was still going and it killed her. That's really bad. Okay, so get her back up right now. We only use life bottles on Elise. Elise can resurrect everyone else. Please just die. Just be dead. Ow, crap, I'm down. I'm back up. It's all good. Die. I need everyone to... What? Oh, I'm confused. No, I'm not. I need everyone to be up for when I win because they need this EXP. This is probably going to be a crap ton of EXP. Your history. 
I did not mean to do that, whatever I just did. Oh, I'm confused. That's why I didn't mean to do it. Okay, let me just guard here for a second. Yeah, get him with that. I think I win with Chromatus right now. So I'm going to do it real quick since everyone's still alive. Pretty sure this gives me the win. Or it'll bring him so low, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely kill him before he can do anything. Give me it. I think that's game. I think I just beat Ghastly Stump. Thank goodness. That went so fast. That took like five minutes. Holy cow. That was faster than Goddess Touch. If this does kill him. I'm pretty sure it does. No, maybe not. That did less. Oh, I did kill him. Why did that do like 10,000 less? Oh, I was level three, not level four. That was a good bit of EXP though. I think that was like another two and a half. Glad I had everyone alive for that. That went way faster than I thought it would. Elite Annihilator. Look at that. How many have I killed? 46? I've killed 46, because there are 48 total, and there's only Snow Cougar and Sienna Bronk left. Anyways, uh, let's jump to Niakara. I can buy stuff there, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and restock everything for this next fight we're going to be having. Oh, they don't have the uh, lemon gels and stuff here. I don't need those, though. I don't think I've used any. I should be high in number of those, if not maxed out. I don't think I'll even need them. I didn't need them against Ghastly Stump. Don't think I'm going to need them against the last two. I could have used them against Ghastly Stump. Probably would have helped, but whatever. We need to go to... Where is Snow Cougar? The Cilia Tundra? No, the Jalen Woods. Jalen Woods. Yeah. I think he's right at the temple entrance, isn't he? He's like super stupid small, I believe. Like smaller than he is in the actual battle. Yeah, there he is. Look at how stupid small he is. He's like the size of my leg. If that. Here we go. Time to fight the Snow Cougar. Snow Cougar, EX. He's got more health than a Ghastly Stump. He is now strong against Wind, which sucks because he's normally weak against Wind, so it allows me to spam Dragon's Maw, but he's still weak against Fire, which means it's okay, and he's weak against Swords. This should work out well. He actually resists my Dragon's Maw attack because of the Wind attribute. I thought it would do neutral because of his weakness to Fire, but I can just spam uh, Incineration Wave, basically, is my plan here. He does a ton of damage, it seems, just like Ghastly Stump. Except Ghastly Stump is a lot easier to hit than Snow Cougar, I promise you. I'm trying to just... There we go. Now I can start doing this. Let's start spamming attacks. Here we go. I don't know if uh, sometimes even enemies who resist Earth are still hurt by Critical Blade. I don't think it'll work against him, though. So I'm not even going to bother trying it. I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry. Demonic Chaos. I did the wrong move there. I forgot that those are both demonic chaos. It's fine, though. I pulled it back, and I got the Link Mystic Art. Look at all those power hits. Can I go into Chromatus right now? No, this is going to turn it into Grave Hits, I think. So I won't be able to go into Chromatus. Well, I can go into Chromatus, but it's... Oh, no, it's still power hits. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, they left immediately. Oh, Chromatus isn't at four anyways. Right, we used it to finish Ghastly Stump. For some reason, I thought we had a fully charged Chromatus. My bad. Uh, Elise, if you could cast that, uh, Dispel or whatever it is that, like, takes off all negative effects, that'd be great, because this guy is inflicting bleed on us. Which is a very... Oh my goodness, we get power hits out of the wazoo. This is gonna be a lot easier than I expected. If I could just back up a little bit to start hitting my incineration waves. Burn! Also, I think his weak point is his tail or something like that. So, uh, that definitely helps, because incineration wave will definitely hit that tail, since it goes through him completely. Burn! Yeah, I deal a crap ton of damage with Incineration Wave. This is easy. I was all worried that Snow Cougar was going to be the one we needed to worry about, but no. I'm just, like, literally, literally burning through him right now. Burn to death. Look at this. We're getting, like, over... Holy cow, we're going to get to 100,000 off of just no nothing special but me spamming Incineration Wave. That is amazing. Link Pillar, go! Uh, I linked Pillar at just the wrong time. It didn't do the, uh... It didn't get, like, on the train of that... 100 power hits or whatever it was. Crap, shooting the wrong way. Thankfully, like, his problem normally is a quick, really strong attacks that, like, knock you down and stuff, but he doesn't have a big combo of attacks, so he doesn't deal, like, crap ton of damage in a row. So that's really good. Oh, we're all frozen. That's bad. Okay, no, we're all just, like, slowed down. There are wolves here now. What the heck? What just happened? Like a blizzard came in and suddenly we're all dead. It was going so well. I have no idea what just happened. I need to pay careful attention to that though. I don't know what caused that. I had that in the bag. Here I thought we were going to be on easy street. We'd finish him off and then go fight Sienna Bronk and beat all of the last four elite beasts within like 30 minutes. That would have been nice. Whatever. 
hopefully I can make this work better now. I have no idea what happened that made everyone go down. I'm really curious as to what it was. Burn! Go into the uh, Link Pillar here. There we go. Get some power hits off. Do this. Let me see if Critical Blade does work. Anything? Critical Blade does work. That's really good to know. Demonic Chaos. Phalanx! The time is right. Destroy him! Oh my goodness, this is gonna is this gonna get to 200,000? Ah, oh, so close. I did a crap ton of damage though, undoubtedly. Good, we've already we're already about to get him into the six digit range. That's good. Get into those six digits. Yeah, no seven digit life for you, buddy. Crap. I hate when he does that. He gets behind me just as I'm using incineration wave, so I miss completely. Burn dash! Yeah, no escaping. You have to die. I'm sorry. It's just a fact of life at this point. You have to be dead. Ow. Oh, crap. I'm down. Seriously, none of my, like, resurrect abilities worked there. But Luger's did. His, like, 40% chance one. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Go, Link Pillar! 